Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mining News Flash. Today, with Caliber Mining Revival Gold, Trillium Gold, and Osisco Development on Commodity TV. Another Q2 quarter gives a record Q2 quarter, gives Caliber Mining a sensational first half this year. Sales of over 112,000 ounces gold and an average realized gold price of 1,878 US dollars per ounce gold generated gross revenues of almost 211 million US dollars in the first half. The AIC totaled 1,200. $144 in the first half in line with budget. Cash flow from operations was $61.5 million, adjusted net income was $31.9 million, and mineral reserves increased by 254% to 1,013,000 ounces gold in Nicaragua. Following receipt of the environmental permit for Pavon Central during the quarter development work has commenced on the high-grade open pit and permitting for Eastern Barossi is progressing well. Permits are expected before year-end. Caliber Mining is in its strongest financial position ever with $92 million in cash and it believes it is well positioned to meet full-year guidance. Recent call logging from Revival Gold's drill program indicates that the target zone at JOS has been encountered. ASIA results are expected next month and offer the potential to confirm a significant depth extension at JOS, where previous drilling has returned high grade intercepts in 18 holes over a 1 km section. Meanwhile, drilling continues with activity expected to increase as drill rigs become available and conditions permit. Trillium Gold is identifying historical drill cores from 21 holes in the Confederation Belt for gold sampling and assaying that has been historically assayed for base metals only. The goal is to find the next gold discovery that has likely been drilled but not recognized or sampled. In addition to logging and analyzing historical drill holes, Trillium's geological team has conducted additional soil and lithogeochemical sampling. All permits for early exploration drilling are in process and awaiting receipt. The acquisition of Tintic adds another cornerstone to Osisco Development's portfolio and enhances the operating platform in a world-class mining district. Management is excited about the quality of the exploration targets at Trixie and the areas beyond Trixie within the large 100% owned area. Caribou is pleased with the progress to date. Ongoing work on the project has advanced the permitting process and brings Osisco development another important milestone closer. As of the end of Q2 2022, the company was generating $9 million in revenue from operations at the Bonanza Ledge 2 and Trixie test mines and cash was approximately $136.3 million. Please note the disclaimer superimposed now. The shares discussed are part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the company. Thanks for watching us and Bye-bye from Austria today.